Well, Larry, the superintendent and everyone in this small community is very glad to have all the young kids safe as well as the driver. Now, we actually had a chance to talk to one of the students who was anxious to come back to school. I was going to ride the bus, but my mom made me go in the car. Although Josh Barker didn't ride the bus on Friday, he was ready to go back to school, and the district superintendent was there to greet him. He came up to the school and uh, he told me thanks for uh, handling the situation well and uh, all that. A couple of sixth graders, including Josh, remained calm and composed after water started rushing into their bus. He helped get the younger students on top of the bus before first responders came to their rescue. I was trying to get all the kids to come down, and my friend Corey, he went uh, and opened the window and was, had his head out the window. I uh, calmed him down, and then we both got all the little kids and told them what to do. All this while the 12-year-old sister and parents were anxiously waiting to reunite with him. It felt like forever because, you know, we were just so worried about what happened. It was scary, though. I was scared because I didn't know what had happened because they didn't tell us anything. They just told us that a bus had gotten a wreck. After hearing how Josh responded to the accident, his sister says she's quite proud of him. You know, our moms always told us, you know, just kind of stay calm in situations because, I mean, you have to do something. You can't be panicking. I'm very proud, and um, I hope if anything ever happens like that again, which I hope it doesn't, that he'll do the same thing. The superintendent says they will continue to have counselors at the schools to talk to the students both involved in the accident and those who may be afraid of what had happened. And again, they said that those 10 students, they will pay close attention to them. Reporting live in Douglas, Lily Wu, 